Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we got a strange episode today for you. So if you have one of these ra sitting around the house, uh, these are backup UPS supply for your uh, desktop computers from back in the day. And what happens is uh, these smaller ones are powered by a 12 volt lead acid battery. And when the battery goes bad, you know, you could just keep buying new batteries and, you know, replace it or you can do a hack like we're about to do today so these are in essence a very uh, low powered inverter all right it takes the dc voltage and current from the battery and converts it to uh well steps it up to 120 and so they're very convenient if you have a 12 volt battery sitting around like for instance we're playing with solar so we have a bunch of 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries and if you hook it up to the battery intake you will in essence have a uh, surge protected and you know um yeah you'll have a low power inverter for free pretty much because a lot of times we just throw these things away so don't throw them away now in this this particular model is a a 350 model meaning it's 350 volt amps of power that it can supply which is approximately watts so without getting into apparent power and actual power you know, just know that that's all you need to do so we open the bottom exposes the 12 volt battery and it's got these connectors you just take off and if you just string your lithium iron phosphate batteries here you can hack this into a uh, an inverter, a very low powered inverter. It'll probably power like a small fan, a bunch of lights, depending on the capacity of your battery, or uh, just lo low low overhead appliances. You know. Uh, that's yeah. So let's uh, crack her open and see what's inside. So again, uh, these, these are not ideal, but in a pinch, they're actually very um, useful because you could see that's transformer based, so it's low frequency, so it'll give you a, a true sign, um, true sign wave output. And I probably would not rely on it to charge your lithium iron phosphate batteries though, so I'll go ahead and take this out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this main supply out so we'll just do this and rip it out and it's not very graceful but time is of the essence right now
that's live. It's on the wrong setting. This kai wheat is a little, it's getting a little temperamental. It's trying to give me false readings now. It's only the battery side is, is getting power. Let's see what sort of idle draw it's it's kind of pulling. Go to amperage. All right, so another issue we've uncovered is it would do this periodic beeping to let you know that you're running on battery and you're not connected to the grid. So we're gonna have to figure out how to disable that because that's kind of annoying. Let's see if we can power anything. It's not bad, it's an inductive load. I'm still able to bring it up, bring it to live. Life. It's drawing 4.8 amps. So uh, 4.8 times 13, 12 times 12. So about 60 watts. Um, I think the proof of concept works. If you're ever in a pinch, you know, in the middle of nowhere, and you don't have an inverter, but you got batteries and you have these power supply left over from eons ago, uh, it's one option that you can kind of pursue to, to get a little bit of power. Alright, um, I hope this video helped you. Alright, good luck. Bye.